Hello YouTube, today I will teach how to make sprays for Valve games. I will use Team Fortress 2 for demonstration. There are three kinds of sprays. A single image spray, a distance change spray and an animated spray. For the single image spray and distance change spray you will need Adobe Photoshop, Nvidia Texture Tools plugin for Photoshop and VPK tool. For the distance change spray, you will need DirectX SDK. All three kinds of sprays use VTF Edit. Ok, let's go to download all the softwares. First, I will install NVIDIA Texture Tools for Photoshop. I will download the 64-bit version. Ok, I will click no thanks and fill the name and the organization with random details. Next. And next and install. Ok, I will click finish and I will install DirectX SDK. I will use the shortcut keys to navigate in this wizard, so ALT N. Great, now it has been finished because I quickly skipped the process of the installation I guess I could, I could call it and finished. Ok, now I will download VPK tool from here and download. View downloads, yeah. Ok. Actually, first I will download also VTF edit. I will use only the archive. Ok. Let's open it. I will also snap it to the side. And... I will simply, uh, simply extract those to the desktop. And I will also extract This one. Excellent. To use a single image spray, you have to convert the image into a VTF file. In my case, I have a spray I would like to use, this one, and its format is PNG, although it doesn't matter, because it will be a VTF file. Now, enter Photoshop. Simply drag and drop this image file into Photoshop. 
click file save as change the file format to DDS thanks to Nvidia's plugin and hit save now in this dialog you have to select the interpolated alpha the fourth option make sure generate MIP maps is checked and hit save now I will click exit and now open VPK tool go to texture tools tab click open file open the DDS file you have just created and click convert DDS to VTF now open VTF edit simply drag and drop this VTF file into the software in the options make sure auto create VMT file is checked and you can save excellent go to Team Fortress 2 folder TF Materials VGUI Logos and here put both files in the folder now for the demonstration I will set up a private server only for me Excellent. Now I will simply visit Team Fortress 2. Go to Options, Multiplayer, and in the in this box, simply switch to the spray you put there. In my case, TF2 Sniper then this is its preview which is correct I will click OK then servers and visit my own server now click continue twice I will pick the blue scout and oh now God. I will simply go to this wall and spray and as you can see I have a spray of sniper which does nothing which is exactly what I wanted To make a distance change spray, you have to use two or more images which their dimensions are identical and are a power of 2 up to 512 width and height. Then decide which image is the closest, which image is the furthest, and everything in between. In my case, I have here two images which will be used for demonstration the further image and the close image. Now open Photoshop, drag and drop this, uh, this image into Photoshop. One of the images doesn't matter then click file save as and save them in save each in DDS format in these settings interpolate alpha and generate MIP maps same goes to the close image
and save. Now I will close Photoshop because I don't need it. And open DirectX Texture Tool. You can also search for it. Texture Tool. Now, the order of the images does matter. The first image is the image that will be seen from furthest and the last will be seen from close. So drag and drop the further image, I mean the furthest image to the software. Then click file. Open onto this surface and choose the closer image. In my case, because I have only two images, the close image. Click open and to check if you did it correctly, go to view and you have there two options smaller MIP level. If we click it, you can see distance change for once I press page down, uh, page up, I get distance change close. So I did it, I did it correctly. Now just save your image. I will call it distance change spray and click save. Now I will close and use VPK tool to convert the file into a VTF file. And convert DDS to VTF. Click close. And I have here VTF edit and to drag and drop here and this is also a way to check if do you did it correctly in MIP map simply change the value from 0 to 1 and I did it correctly so just in the options make sure auto create VMT file is checked and simply save and you also have a VMT file, which is what you want. Go to Team Fortress 2 folder to put all the files. Excellent. Now drag and drop both files. Excellent. Now I can close it. And I will open my own private server. So nobody will disrupt my gameplay. Excellent. Now I will open Team Fortress 2. And go to Options. Multiplayer. And from here just choose this Distance Change Image. I mean Spray. And there you go. Now click OK. Go to your server or doesn't matter which server you want to play in. I will click continue twice. I will join to the blue team and be scout. Let's get em. And I will simply spray. And as you can see, there is distance change close. Once I hold a bit S, it changes to distance change far. Getting close, distance change close, and far. Excellent.
To make an animated spray, you have to get all the frames of the animation. In my case, I have an animation of spike crab. So, because I want this to be my spray, I have to get all the frames that make it. How do I do this? Simple. Go to your browser, search for GIF frame extractor, and visit the first link. Now hit browse and of course take the animation and hit upload. I don't want to edit this animation so I will simply hit split it. And these are the frames. So because I want to get them, I will hit download frames as zip. And I have this file, so I will hit open. I don't need edge. And I want my process to be simple. So I will simply create a new folder named tf2 animation put all the frames in it and now I don't need the archive open VTF edit hit import over here or go to file import or control I go to the folder and control A to select all the frames and open and click OK I can also preview the animation by hitting play, nice animation, and also make sure that in the options auto create VMT file is checked, and hit file, save. I will call, wait a second, I will call the animation spy crab, and hit save, close. I just need to put those files in the Team Fortress 2 folder in the F sprays area. So TF, materials, VGUI, logos, and inside here simply take both and drag over here, close, and now I will set up my private server so m nobody will disrupt me and visit Team Fortress 2 hit options multiplayer and from here I can select my spike rub Okay, it was already already selected, but still. Hit OK. And hit servers. And visit my own server. Okay, hit continue twice and I uh, will join the blue team and uh, choose a scout and once I spray I Yahoo! see the spike rub animation how beautiful thanks a lot for watching this video I hope it was useful for you have a good day, bye